Yeah, Only for, for Neil. I think he thought that uh, maybe it rolled off and he poked Taylor in the eye with his cue there. Well, it was the proverbial ball short. Something happened, didn't it? Didn't like. What a chance for O'Sullivan. Surprised he finished short on the, the shot. I can't imagine what excuse there could have been for that. I think the red that's up near the black spot is not actually getting in the way if the black is potted. So it might uh, play a part in a few shots. In any deciding frame, any top player would ask for only one thing, one decent chance. This is it. Really is. Ten. Well, he's taking an interest in playing around the black spot. We know he could probably get up for the blue a number of times and accumulate points that way, but it's not really his style, unless he has to. Thinking that maybe this time, we'll see how things develop from here. Wasn't one of his better shots, though. It was the only snag. Finishing either straight or just off straight. Well, dead straight's the worst angle he could have because uh, you can only go straight through or straight back. Forced an angle. Yeah, two or two choices there. If he goes through 16. the gap that he's on the red down the cushion or... As you saw, a little kiss on the brown's giving him something, but this is not easy to judge. Oh, and he just... That was off the near jaw. He played it slowly enough for the ball to be accepted. Now, just look at this. This really did nearly stay out. Three hours of spellbinding entertainment. What a good shot that was. Played with stun, it wasn't a natural. Well, he's not keen on the angle he's got on the red, though. So he plays the one above it. 23. Same problem, though. Would have much preferred top side of the blue. Now he's got to face this red that's down that bolt cushion, which if he gets right behind it, it shouldn't be a problem. Well, that's a nice angle. It means that the pot isn't got to be forced, and also that cue ball does come out out of bulk and perhaps onto a bulk colour or even higher up the table for the blue. Great camera shot, isn't it? Of a 29. Kind of position on the table we very rarely see. <coughs> Still with more work to do, he knows. One more precise shot from bulk colour to the next red and could well be curtains. That could just about be the shot. Once again, it's almost the same angle as the last time. But, uh, he refused this red. The one to the middle instead.
34. This time nicely on the blue. Six reds above the one near the black spot are slightly in each other's way, but a couple certainly will go to the right corner here. This time, crucially, you can play on the black. 39. 40. Just slightly pacey, that one. But, uh, while he should get this black, he's got to give it all his care and attention. Which he does. Well, time running out for Robertson. Should he ever get back to the table, which seems unlikely the way the balls are. 48. He's a good pressure player, but Ronnie has pulled out more here. Pegged back from 5 3 to 5 all, and he's responded, Clive, hasn't he? 55. 56. Great stuff from both. Over the line. Robertson led 3 2. O'Sullivan played three errorless frames tactically and potting in uh, taking a 5 3 lead. He also led. 34 nil in the next frame. He was heading Eight. for a 6 3 win. He made an unexpected mistake. Robertson won that frame with 80. Another with a total clearance of 125. But 87. It's O'Sullivan who's got in in the decider. And he's going to clinch it with an immaculate century. Yeah, and a lovely match to watch. 94. Robertson's played a big part in it. It's the standard of play. It's not all been breaks. 97. Both players have made centuries. We're going to see the third of the match here, but it's been just a, a joy, this match. Six. O'Sullivan's 6-5 win over Ding Junhui last night was wonderful entertainment. 112. His 6-5 win over Neil Robertson tonight. He's been right up with it. So, with a break of 119.